to a quick lesson on how to create a blog post, uh, or your first blog post, perhaps. Uh, log into the dashboard and just drop down to posts. We're not going to go to pages, we're going to posts. This is the name for blogs or custom posts or your content engine. Basically, you're going to create as many here as you want. This could be a very long list. The reason it's so easy is apart from the fact this is a fairly simple template compared to a complex web page, all you do is select one. In this case, I've set up a template already, but you, you might do that yourself. And I can just simply clone or duplicate it. Different menu options potentially. So I'm just going to clone that and give it a sec. And I've now got a copy I can jump in and edit. So what's going to happen is if I jump, jump over to the, um, basically to uh, the post, this is what the template is. So this is what I'm going to create. Um, just basically a heading, some text, and there are related posts at the bottom of this template. But basically I'm adding content in here. This is called FAQ. Your blog might be called useful resources, news and updates. It's basically a list, a page with a list of all these extra pages you're creating. In this case, there are filters. So you might have different subjects and topics as your content grows. And to make it easy, you might even have search bars and archiving. So this is where we want it to appear. Jumping back to the posts that we've copied, we're just going to jump in and edit. There are different ways to edit different posts depending on how they've been set up. This is a simple approach. There's basically going to be a heading and content that I publish. Jump into another page where my lovely customer has created content for me. There's the heading. Edit post. Paste that in. Go back to the content. Copy that. How easy is that? Makes That's made my life very easy. A little bit of editing here. I'm just going to put a space in there and a space in there as per the formatting. And I've got six points here. I'm just going to create a bullet point. Here we go, bullet list. And it's, let's see if that works. There we go. So now there might be different ways, to, easier ways to do this, but uh, uh, I'm just going to do it this way. I'm just just have got to hit enter after each row and that seems to get the bullet points back in, but I'm no word guru. There we go. A couple of paragraphs, a few key points and a heading, but there's a little bit more. Firstly, we've got to set the category. In this case, it's probably going to be just useful resources, maybe children's dental, maybe if you're trying to target kids that are happy with their dentist. Um, and down here, a little bit lower, you can add tags as well for searching for SEO and there's just dedicated SEO information over here that you can do. Just going to remove that featured image because that was from the template. Set the featured image. You can find, you can upload a new image or you can go and go to the media library. I'm just going to grab this one for to make it easy. In this case, I've got a different heading, choosing a dentist in Melton because that's a keyword and alternative text is always good on every image. Set that featured image and basically the blog's created. One little trick on this particular post you can actually put an excerpt on the front of a list page here that is different to the actual content. In this case, I'm just going to go here and grab, uh, if you're experiencing, uh, how about, uh, it's a straightforward process to have your record sent to a new. There we go. I'm just going to get that last sentence. That will do. Go to the post, put that in the excerpt box. So just to note that every blog can potentially have a different format and there'll be tricks that might be unique to your website, but follow your nose is pretty easy. And I'm just gonna save that draft. And then I'm gonna publish it. I could have previewed it if I wanted to first, but it's a fairly straightforward post. And let's go to FAQs and hit F5 refresh. And there we go. I've just created my first blog post. You'll notice here, I didn't have to play around with image sizing, but if the image was a different size, it would, would not fit properly. So be conscious of your images. That's a different lesson. Is my dentist right for me? And there's just a bit of a sentence there. So a little bit of formatting needed, but done. You've got your first blog post created. And if I just click on that to go in, there we go. Is my dentist right for me? And a bit of a blog article. And we'll, we'll all get better over time with practice. But uh, it looks pretty easy to get you cracking on your first 10 or 20 pages. Good luck.